Ricky Schilling. I'm from Fayetteville, Texas. I'm a freshman in college, and I restored a 1968 Minneapolis Moline G1000 Vista and won the 2020 Dello TRC competition with it. It's absolutely awesome to drive. You've got this, this huge uh, deck up here, and the visibility is absolutely great. All the controls are right here on your side. It's got telescopic steering. You can put it exactly where you want. It's got a hydraulic assist clutch on it. It's like driving a Cadillac. This tractor may drive like a Cadillac now, but of course, the Minneapolis Moline didn't look nearly as bright and shiny when Ricky first brought it home. When we got a hold of it, it was pretty rough. It came from South Texas and it had a lot of rust on the tractor. Uh, it had been abused by the previous owner. It had a lot of issues with it that we really couldn't see when we first got the tractor. And once we got into it, found a lot of issues both internally and externally. Uh, and I knew it was gonna be a challenge and it became even more of a challenge once we got into it. Well, I've got a little over a thousand hours in this tractor myself. Uh, and then with the help of Mr. Royce and my father, I have right around 1600 hours in it in total. Ricky was looking for a challenge. And when he found this Minneapolis Moline, he found a challenge, no doubt. Family friend Royce Bartles helped to advise Ricky on each of his competitive tractor restoration projects. When Ricky was a high school sophomore, he tackled this John Deere 435 with a GM diesel engine. A unique tractor and a restoration job that helped Ricky take home his first grand champion title in Chevron's Dello Tractor Restoration Contest. Ricky's taken three tractors to the na national Dello FFA Tractor Restoration Competition. The first year we went as a sophomore, we took the John Deere 435, and uh, we were ba basically going up there to get some experience under our belts and see exactly how it all went. It came to the awards, and they announced the third place and then the second place. My wife and I looked at one another and says, well, it's been a great learning experience. We'll be better prepared for next year. And they announced the winner and it was Ricky. <laughs> and both of us just broke into tears. It was a very emotional experience. There's a lot of teamwork that goes into a project like this. Uh, I had help from Mr. Royce and my dad kind of as mentors during the project because not one person can do something like this by themselves. It also, a lot of support from the community, both through people that have helped out and then also people that have helped out with parts and things like that. As a junior, Ricky was again a national finalist in the Dello competition, but did not come out on top that year. Then for his final year as a high school senior, Ricky tackled the Minneapolis Moline G1000 Vista. It was a full restoration that brought some unexpected challenges. I basically start and strip it down all the way until it's just bare housings and go back together with it until it's like new. Disassembling the tractor, I found that the transmission case had been broken. Obviously when they, somebody had previously pulled the motor, they didn't know that there were two bolts in the top of the motor and they had busted the top of the transmission housing. And then we ran into issues with the motor when we went to first crank the motor. We had a, had a lot of blow by in the cooling system. Even with the setbacks, the G1000 Vista was brought back to like new or maybe even better than new condition. And through the process, Ricky came to know and appreciate every detail of this beefy tractor. The Minneapolis Moline weighs over 10,000 pounds. It, it's, a, it's a hoss of a tractor. I think for sure it's a muscle, muscle tractor. It's got 111 horsepower, and you definitely know it. It has a huge engine uh, in it for the power. It's a 504 cubic inch power team diesel engine. Uh, it's got three individual cylinder heads and three individual cylinder blocks, which was a unique design in Minneapolis Moline. I really enjoyed going through it. It was definitely a learning experience. This one, this engine has a pre-combustion chamber, uh, which is something that I had never had any experience with before. I think a farmer in 1968 would really appreciate the G1000 Vista because of its, uh, its comfort for the operator. Uh, the platform was really nice and it had a lot of power. The shorter wheelbase, it was able to turn short. And then also with the row crop axles and the row crop front end, you could adjust it for any row spacing that you were on. When you're driving the G1000, you're, you're way up in the air. The platform is high up off the ground, and the first step getting up to the platform is pretty high itself. It's a thrill to drive. It's got a nice shifting transmission. The steering 
uh, you could steer with one finger. My favorite thing is the Boss Comfort Control deck on this tractor. Everything is so accessible and it's so nice to ride on. For a competitor like Ricky, knowing the tractor well is one key to succeeding in the Chevron Dello competition. Another is documenting each step of the restoration process. To create the book, I really start, it starts very early on in the restoration process. Uh, I have my camera with me on my phone the whole time, and when we start to go look at the tractor, uh, we take photos of it from all different angles. And when we get it home, basically, I take photos of every individual piece that I take off. That way I know where it goes back together, and I also have the picture for the documentation process. The book takes me about two weeks, just full time working on it to do it for the Texas shows. And then after that, I spent about a month going back through the book and perfecting it and getting everything the way I wanted it for the Dello competition and to their standards for their, their book. Once I've got that done, I, I study and study and study and go through all my Minneapolis Moline manuals, talk to people, uh, just get, get all the information that I possibly can about the tractor. That way I can answer any questions and then go back through my photos and you know refresh my memory on how all I've done everything and what it all looked like when I was in there. That way, if they ask me a question, I can picture it in my head. That way I, I have a good, solid answer. All the hard work on the G1000 Vista paid off as Ricky was again named a national finalist in the 2020 Chevron Dello Tractor Restoration Competition. However, with a pandemic, the judging and awards announcements were just a little different. I was sitting in front of a computer and I never got to uh, really talk one-on-one -on -one and meet my uh, people that I com competed with in person. Uh, but sitting there in front of the TV watching the awards presentation and when they got to grand champion and I saw the little uh, camera light up on my computer, I was, it was just, it was amazing. It was awesome to know that I had won it a second time. It was quite a celebration. We had uh, Royce and Barber were there uh, along with some other of our close friends. And so needless to say, we had the big screen TV on and when it was announced, well, there was a lot of hooping and hollering and hugging it. <laughs> no doubt being a two-time grand champion of the Chevron Dello competition is a rare thing. And for Ricky, it's built skills, work ethic, and experiences that will be with him forever. I don't know where he's going in life, but uh, everything that he's learned out of this, you can't ever take away from him. I think it's a tremendous program. So grateful that Chevron supports the young people and is, it enables kids throughout the country to uh, display their skills and their hard work that they put in on all these tractors. With uh, the Dello TRC, not only do you win the prize money, they uh, pick the tractor up and they take you different places in the country to these farm shows. And the people that you get to meet and, uh, and, and visit with and uh, talk about the the tractor and the accomplishments are just, you know, once in a lifetime. I think that it's great that Chevron and Dello sponsor this competition. It, it wouldn't be possible without them. It give, uh, Chevron gives the youth a, a great opportunity to exhibit their projects and have a chance at some good scholarship money that can help send, send you to school. I'd say if you're uh, a young person and you're in high school or in junior high and thinking about one day doing a tractor restoration project, I'd say go for it. It's a great experience. It takes a lot of hard work, but the, the reward is definitely worth it. It's great. Even if you don't win, you can meet a lot of new people and a lot of great contacts. They can never take away from you what you've learned during the restoration project. That'll carry with you your entire life. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. You can also find even more videos and branded merchandise over on our website, ClassicTractorsTV.com. 
Now don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button.